It's the day trash collectors anticipate every year. The day after Christmas is when it starts. You know, you know, up until Christmas, it's sort of like the calm before the storm. Brent Wine says the variety of Christmas trash, like wrapping paper, doesn't compact as easily as typical household trash. Therefore, increasing the number of times trash must be collected each day from the compactor sites. It's not just wrapping paper that he's talking about, though. You got all your extra boxes, uh, your styrofoam, you know, all the stuff that you're packing stuff, you know, you know your goodies come in. You know, you got all that extra stuff. And then, to you know, you got all the, you know, your household garbage does increase, you know, you know, a little bit because, you know, you got the general people cleaning up, you know, getting ready for guests. And the holidays always mean more trash. But depending on the day of the week that Christmas falls determines how much more trash. With Christmas being on a Saturday, you know, you know, and you know, everything's closed, you know, we're planning on being, you know, hit pretty hard Sunday because of it being on the weekends and everybody trying to get their garbage out before, you know, they go to you know, start their work day. Wine said that last year his group was able to return to a normal amount of trash in about a week. And what this Christmas looks like remains to be seen. But his group is prepared for increased volume through Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Usually we plan out the you know MLK, you know, just in case, you know, you know, so our guys are kind of ready to go. If they, um, my drivers understand that if they have to pull extra cans, you know, somewhere along along the lines. Wine did say that last year fewer people left trash at the gate since the county started heavily policing contractor sites. In Hall County, Rachel Garrett, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.